Hey you guys. Okay. I have such a great video for y'all today. Surprise. It's a Monday video. Okay. We're, are we back into that? I used to do Mondays and Fridays always. And then I switched to just Fridays years and years ago. And sometimes I'm like, would y'all prefer a video of, cause it's just as easy for me to post Mondays versus Fridays, which day of the week. And I want you to just, you know, let me know, please because I've toyed with this for a while and I'm just like, I don't know. Are you guys used to Fridays and that's good or would you prefer Mondays? Doesn't matter, do you just watch whenever they're out? I don't know. Um, so last week, hopefully you saw my video that I dropped on Thursday for the Sephora sale. It's happening now, the different tiers are opening up, that'll all be below. But I thought this would be perfect timing to share and empties, you know, things that you might want to like replenish. I have such good empties, okay? Things that you can get at Sephora and not just Sephora things, but different things. But I thought this would be a good time to um, to do an empties video. And also it's Target Circle Week. So a lot of things are on sale. This dress, this $20 dress that I love. I got some new outdoor chairs that I'm gonna show you guys. Um, no, I'm not because they haven't come yet because I ordered them, <laughs> but I will link to those. Um, I will show those. Um, I got some dresses for Livy. I'm going to show you what I got from the Diane Von Furstenberg collection and then a few must-haves, okay? Tanks, things that you do not want to miss, and the best swimsuit of all time that after, year after year they still have. I believe they're doing a sale on swim. So before we get started, let me show you what I'm wearing. This dress is again like only 20 bucks, comes in three different colors. I have this color in the black, just ordered the pink. Okay, so this is what the dress looks like. I have it in black as well. And when I checked to see if they had them in stock today for the video, I actually went and I, I saw that it came in pink and I grabbed the pink too. Um, so it's really, really good. I'll link to my jewelry and everything, but I feel like in the spring, uh, I just, I feel like this is, this is good. Okay. Because you go out, you know, and you might want to, you know, look cute and like show your legs or whatever, but it might be like cool or, you know, you're going in somewhere you don't want to carry a jacket. I just love the balance of like a long sleeve with something more like fit it, you know, so you're not like so out there. It's like a balance. So that's that. Um, okay. I ordered this like months ago. I love a good top. Okay. This is a good swim top. I always buy a large in swimsuits, I'm like a 27, 28 in jeans, four or six, usually medium or small on tops, but, um, this is a great, it's lightly lined. And my tip with swimsuits is I, I usually, and not at Target because they're really great prices and they have got amazing brands of swimsuits. Um, one of my favorite brands, but they have that cup sheet, which is really great. Um, but I will just buy a top that's like black, you know, and then I wear like my black bottoms that I've had for years. You don't have to keep buying black swimsuit bottoms. Buy a different top, like zhuzh it up, but you don't, you're gonna end up with a ton of black swimsuit bottoms. And a lot of times, <sighs> The, the, the swimsuit bottoms that they're selling nowadays are like criminal. I feel like I, I can't, they're either up to here and that's not good. I mean, I don't like that. And, or, or they're this big in the back and I'm like, oh gosh, you know, sometimes I feel a little, you know, out there taking my kid to the pool, you know, let me throw on a thong. No, said no one. Um, we did go on a vacation years ago and I was like, screw it. I'm bringing my like skankiest bikini and I just went for it and it was fun. Okay. But, um, so do what you want. Okay. Do what you want. But I like like a tie bottom that you can kind of pull up or you can kind of ride low. I, but I like, I don't like a full, full coverage bottom, but I, but I've got a rear. Okay. This much fabric on a large swimsuit bottom ain't cutting it. Okay, and these swimsuit sizes don't even get me started, but it is what it is. But listen, this is a great top, super cute, okay? So pick this up, very substantial. This I have had for years and years. They still have this. This is the best swimsuit of all time. Usually, I feel like <laughs> lots of times. I mean, there's so many cute one pieces now, but they can be a little frumpa dump, some of them, okay? But no, like this one is so cute, but it's it's good coverage. I never, but but it goes down and it's like flattering at the same time. The cut on the bottom isn't like so like meh, meh. it kind of comes up a little, but it it's good. Okay, this is such a good swimsuit. This is like if I 
went into my, you know, I was like, you have, if I went to my swimsuit drawer and I was like, only one, you can, this would be the one that I would save. But I will link to the one that I just ordered uh, because, of course, they're doing the Target Circle Week. It has not come yet, but oh my gosh. I will link to it below. I'll put like black swimsuit that I ordered. Cutest one piece I've ever seen. And I think I got two of them. Um, two different ones, but one's kind of like cut out a little, cute in the back. The other one's just like a vintage looking one that's straight across. I feel like sometimes with like boobs, I feel like what is with boobs? Sometimes you, the cleave, like having one that's v-neck doesn't even make your boobs look as good as one that's like this. I kind of like that, you know what I mean? Um, so check that out. And then also these tops, I was wearing this in my last video that I posted on uh, last week in the Sephora sale video. These are the best tanks of all time. I've got them in so many colors. This is another one. They're not all striped like that. That's the only one that's like has a contrast. But for the price, so good. And they're like a very cut, like good classic cut, but one that's also very like in now, I feel like a, you know, um, but it's not so cropped, but it's gonna hit you right at the point where you're not gonna have to fiddle with, do I tuck this in? Do I leave it out? Is my belly showing? It hits at just the right point. You just put it on and go. Now the Diane von Furstenberg stuff. That's the last thing I'm gonna talk about before we get into some of to these empties. Diane von Furstenberg. Okay, iconic. You know, I was interested in this collection. One of the largest collections, not the largest collection collaboration I've ever seen Target do, and I was so excited. And you know, the classic wrap dresses, all of that. And I was disappointed because for the sheer amount of things. I didn't like any of the things for women. It just wasn't my style. The very, like, small print. I didn't like a lot of the prints with the wrap dress. I wish there were some that may have been a little more solid color of a wrap dress or something like that. And even the ones that were, I just didn't love the style. They were, I don't know, just some of the prints were a little not into. So many home things. Very expensive home things, okay? like furniture and things that weren't prints that I loved, but that's okay, not for me. Um, you know, just some little home accessories, little candles, those little pictures that I felt like weren't that big of a departure from what Target would normally have anyways. But the kids' things, if you got girls, kids' things are where it's at. Now the first day of the sale, they were sold out of all these, and I thought, well, that's great. And then I went back like a week later, I don't know what I was thinking, and they were back in stock. The cutest... Um, they're 25 bucks, little dresses. You see the little Diane von Furstenberg stuff for kids. Love this print. So I got this for my daughter. This is a beautiful, very cute little well-made dress. And then I got it for her also in yellow. So these are going to be so, so cute this season. So if you got girls, check that out. Um, but yeah, the, the collection didn't really knock my socks off, okay? And that's okay, you know? It's not for everybody. All right. I had to put down like a thing here because I thought I'm going to make such a mess. What are we seeing in the background? You, okay, whatever. I have so many different things. Usually I'll kind of go through and I didn't. So I'm just going to, ooh, that's a good one. I'm going to go through and we're going to get into it. Okay. I can't live without this. No matter what shampoo that I use, this is what I use every other shampoo. And I skip several days in between washing my hair. But even so, Every other actual shampoo I use this, it is the DP Hue ACV Rinse, and this is the Hair Rinse Light, okay? Um, it just kind of gives you tons of shine, gets rid of the grime and the dirt and the oils without a lather that can end up stripping your hair, especially if you color your hair. I have not colored my hair in years. Still waiting for the grays to pop up, okay? I'm going to be 40 here in a few months, and I'm like, okay, we're going to see what happens, but... um. So far, so good. But if, especially if you color your hair, I think this would be really, really nice. And when I repurchased it, I actually repurchased just the regular one that's not the light. And I think I might like that one better. But the light or the ACV regular, it's good to go. Um, the Luminous Silk, you guys saw that I did actually, this is shade 4. I'm using the last little drippy drops of shade 4.5, which is my perfect shade. That's the one that I repurchased. Um, Luminous Silk is just my go-to this is amazing. I've been using those Chanel highlight sticks, which of course you can't get at Sephora and they're great. But I really think for the ingredients and everything, this Merit stuff will not break you out. We've talked about that. It's the only stick products that I've found that aren't loaded with waxes and coconut oils and things that will 
you know, clog your pores and eventually lead to like some uneven skin, okay? And some textural problems, some bumps. What's that? I'm like, did my camera just explode? Did you guys hear that? Or was it one of these bottles popping in this thing? You okay? Okay. The highlight stick in Kava. I use this thing down <laughs> to the last little drippy droppies. And I'm not kidding. I can use this a little more. Love this stuff so much. Best, best, best ever. Um, okay. This stuff is so good. I mean, of course, like, I've got so many Bath and Body Works body washes. Why don't I go through these? Warm vanilla sugar. Oh, that was the lotion. Love their body lotion. It's always good. The Moonlight Martini. I kind of like to like mess around and get some different ones. But um, Brad really likes this. The Marble. This is so good. It's, you know, in the men's line. The 3-in-1 hair, face, and body wash. Best men's scent ever. So, so good. And if you've got a guy kind of like mine that's like kind of averse to like using anything and products, he's like, let me just use my soap and let me just, you know, I mean, like, forget it. Like, I'm never going to get him to use like a lotion on his face. And he looks great. You know? Ladies, am I right? Uh, okay. This is fine. The Necessaire Body Wash, I just honestly got bored with it. It's fine. I used to use this on Livy when she was teeny, teeny, tiny. That's how old this stuff is because it was fragrance-free. But I need some excitement. Great, great product. Um, but I wish that they would, you know, zhuzh it up with a little excitement. I love it. And I know they have, like, eucalyptus. But I'm like, that's not the excitement I'm looking for. You know what I mean? Like, I wish they'd come up with, like, some different scents. Okay, this is the best, 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 the Acne Eliminating Gel by Dr. Dennis Gross. This was one of the items that I included in my um, Sephora order for the sale. It's um, the Acne Eliminating Gel Salicylic Acid Acne Medication. This stuff, if you've got like an undergrounder or you've got like anything popping up a little bit and it's clear, I really do feel like so many acne products are such a joke. They do nothing. Ugh, this actually does. I really do feel like it clears and helps. Okay, let me find some things that I know you can get at Sephora. Oh, this I really love. This Biozon stuff. This, um, if you did not get the Ecto and the Overnight Rescue, that's what I did the video on, like, you know, a few months ago. No matter what your skincare system is, you can add it on top of it. It's not going to replace your moisturizer or something. I put it on my neck at night. I'll put it as my last step and just kind of, it's really good for your skin barrier. That's great. And I still have some of that. But the squalene and enzyme sugar body scrub was so good. Any of the Biosan stuff is a safe bet. And y'all know, the eyelid lift serum. My eyelids are never without this stuff. 10 plus years, I think it's really saved my eyelid skin. It's kept it like thick and not crepey. It's not sagging. It's looking real good, okay? Um, the eyelid lift serum and morning and night under makeup and before bed. This deodorant, I just can't. It. And I recently went back to the regular version, like the antiperspirant, but all winter and fall, I was using this one that is the, um, the aluminum free version of the cashmere mist. This stuff's kind of very like, uh, it's kind of like a cult following kind of deal. You guys know, I have a shameful amount of these and I talked about these when I did my Nordstrom video last best moisturizer I think I've ever used in my life. It's so, um, and this is probably like a year's worth. I don't even, it's been a long time since I've done a video like this, maybe six months, a year's worth. I probably go through one of these every, I would say it can last about three months, but I use a lot of it, especially at night. I really like lather it on, really not lather, but really pack it on. It's the Bloom um, Gel Cream for Acne Prone Skin, which is someone that's kind of aging and like I want to do, use things like really nourishing. That sounds like ugh, terrifying, too light. It's not. This is the richest, most juiciest, like moisturizer the skin, make your skin look plump, glowy, beautiful. And it um, doesn't have any added fragrances, which my skin appreciates, but it's a natural cotton candy scent. It's beautiful. The Osea Body Balm. I've actually repurchased another one of these. It looks like there's, I think it's just the part that's settled. I might see if I can get a little more out of this. It's been in here for a while, but I have a, a full big size of this. This is amazing. It's kind of like a serum for your body. Think like if on the top of your legs, you know, when you look at certain areas, you might look a little crepey, you know, especially that area right above your knee on the top of your legs. This is going to help with that. It's going to really help like just your, you talk about our skin barrier on our face. It's going to help with that on your body, right? And, um, 
if you use like a regular lotion or body oil, you can put a couple pumps of this in it and kind of mix it in, which I really, really like. This is the best face wash ever. And again, I talked about this in the Nordstrom video too. I don't believe they sell this at Sephora, but pick this up. It's the Bloom uh, Dream Cleanser. It's like a very creamy, beautiful cleanser. I use this every morning, sometimes at night. But you guys know I love my Lancer scrub. You can pick this up at Sephora. I believe, no, I don't think they sell Lancer anymore. Um, but I love this. I use it, you know, every few nights. The Lancer Method Polish. Best skin exfoliator. They're not all the same. They're not all created equal. That one's very good. Don't scrub it in so hard. You just kind of let, let the scrub do the work. Just lightly, just roll it over your skin. And it is... a lot of old stuff. This was like, oh my gosh, you guys. I can't believe all this old stuff. I have an Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. My favorite shade is 5.25. I really love this stuff. Um, and again, people say as you age, you know, liquid concealers, no, no, because they're going to set. And I love a concealer that stays a bit sticky. We don't bake. We don't do any of that anymore. That only works for film, okay, which none of us, um, or like if you're, you just have zero lines, zero aging, and you're 17 years old. Again, we're not setting our makeup like we used to. We're not doing all that. We're not fighting that. Um, again, if you really powder out makeup, and I say this all the time, or even with your eyes, you use eyeshadow that's a powder, you're going to have natural eyelid oils. When that mixes with a powder, it's going to crease because it's like an opposite. If you use a creamy product on your lid, it's actually better, okay? And I'm sorry, but I never get creasing. I never, when I use a cream or a stick or a, and I don't use a primer, I just use that Paracone Serum. But same for your under eye area, okay? And getting the color right. If you go too light, it's going to accentuate and highlight every imperfection. We always used to say, oh, concealer under your eyes used to be very bright. It doesn't, okay? It needs to match your skin tone. So we've been using shades way too light, but also the formulas are just all off. And this is a good liquid concealer that will, I don't want to say set, but it will stay put but it will also be hydrating, not in a thick, goopy, gross way, but it will stay looking good. Okay. What am I using now? Oh, I'm using, oh my gosh, I should have brought it in. In my shower, I have the native Girl Scout cookies. Like I have the Samoa's body wash, which is so good. And then I have the one that's like tree foils because I'm a sick bee and I have to get both. <laughs> and I'm a sick bee that likes tree foils my secret that's my dirty secret okay so brow gel or brow serums the new brow lots of those not lots i have like a couple of those um a lip gloss this buxom celeste very good but something that i purchased let me find it i don't know if i have it in here it's with the glazed maybe i just threw it away and i didn't put it in here or maybe i already showed it on a know. um but the Lawless uh, Glazed Lip Gloss, I actually purchased, purchased another one of those. Today I'm wearing the Annie one. Um, but these are the best, okay? This, this one is just amazing. The Marshmallow, it's the Lawless, like, you know, lip balms. The Pink Marshmallow has no color, um, but it's just beautiful. It fills in the lines of your lips. And I love a plumping product that doesn't use heat or like a peppery stingy effect because then that's going to alter the color of your lips. It's going to make it look like your lips are chapped or you've been, you've been getting smoochy. Um, you know, I don't want my lips to be red and irritated looking and a lot of the lip plumpers do that. These do it in just a very cooling, beautiful way. Um, and the ingredients are really good. But the pink marshmallow is great. This was kind of a bust for me. The, um, the Lady Gaga house labs i tried the foundation and it kind of sucked the life out of my skin and i did not love it again you guys i have oily skin this is just the best we have dry skin oily skin everybody likes different things i get it but give this a whirl if you haven't the um luminous silk perfect glow flawless foundation it's real good um the coverage is amazing and it stays put but this was like a really you know it said it was a very hydrating under eye concealer and i just found that it as I looked at myself throughout the day, it just made my under eye area look old. Okay, I was looking for another word. Made it look old. Um, 
Oh, this was good. The Paracone Rejuveni Rejuvenating Moisturizer. That was nice. Um, I used it on my neck. I'm using a cheaper product um, on my neck now that I really like. Um, gosh, I just kind of... Th this, I did, this did knock my socks off. The Caudalie Vino Perfect Brightening Eye Cream. Did knock my socks off. Okay, I really love these. The Clear Stem. And you can see... How many of these do I have? Um, I use this every day and night like a serum. It's the is crazy it's the no botox serum it's the bounce back this is probably like a year's worth so so good invest in a good good serum you can use the most basic of cleansers find a good moisturizer whatever but this is going this is this is a game changer it's they call it like a no botox serum it has like peptides um collagen tripeptide argan and everything in this brand like won't break you out which is great they're like really big on like anti-aging but also like anti-acne and that's what i'm always looking for okay i want to be like packed in moisture like dripping before i go to bed um but my skin will break out and clog on a dime okay so you gotta be careful so um this stuff is good okay now we like some Botox. We like to do that here and there. But this is a good one, okay? This is going to... What it says on Botox, it doesn't make me smell like... Freeze your face. It's going to make the texture look smoother, softer. And I remember in a video recently, I talked about... Um, if you missed it, which... You know, I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you know... Listen, I post one video a week, okay? Let's hang out. Let's keep up. Okay, I love spending time with you guys. I went and got a facial on our anniversary trip. It was this really bougie spa, and I kind of told the whole story of that. And the facialist was, honestly, I just booked a facial because I really was dying to get into that spa, and they were out of all the day passes. And I was like, well, just sling me a facial. You know, they didn't have any massages open. I thought, just basic, basic facial, okay? But it was the best facial I've ever had in my life. And I've told you guys for years why I'm not so super into packing my skin with retinols even though that's become like the buzzed about thing oh it's the gold standard in skincare but you don't use a retinol what retinol do you use it's kind of like you don't use spf what spf do you use it's like okay um i'm not saying i don't but i'm saying it's like equivalent to that and years ago two different dermatologists because i've seen a dermatologist since i was like 17 18 for like skin you know moles and stuff like that things that i've had to have removed and thus like i've just talked to them about skin over the years and one of them prescribed me retinol one time and we used different formulas and I wasn't sensitive to it at all. It just did something wacky. It made my skin even oilier and this was after like six months, but it really kind of the, the constant turnover made my skin kind of churn oil. It wasn't balanced. It was never balanced. It keeps your skin in a state of unbalanced and you might think, wow, look how smooth and like shiny. That's the thing with a retinol. It's like, if you're really smooth and it makes you look glowy. But what it's doing is it's just constantly breaking down that top layer, which you can kind of do with other things in, I think, a healthier way. Um, but the two dermatologists told me this over the years, and so I was trying to always tell you guys over the last, like, 16 years here why I don't use them. And then this facialist put it into words that I was like, yes. She said, if you want to use a retinol, if you want to use, which was, she was like, I don't even love that. Um, AHAs, BHAs. Um, or even like physical exfoliants, she was saying, where she's seeing people, especially with access to all this skincare, right? You're seeing the Sephora teens slapping on retinols and AHAs and BHAs, and it's just like, but yet we're all concerned with sun aging and damage, and it's like that stuff makes your skin so you know, prone to that. So like thus, what are we, you know, what else are we causing, you know? Um, okay. But that's a whole other story. But what it does is if your skin's constantly in a state of turnover, um, which is good in a healthy way, your skin naturally turns over and you can use products to kind of help boost that in a gentle way. But I do love a product that's, I don't want to say harsh, but that works. A retinol or something like an HA, a really strong BHA, if you use that all the time, I use the HA BHA mask once a week, which is great, perfect. A physical exfoliant once every, you know, two, three days. But people are incorporating retinols into their everyday routine. And what that's doing, she said, and what a dermatologist told me years ago, it's creating almost a shell, almost a damage. Like when you get a skin treatment or a really like, I don't say harsh facial, but a facial that has like a laser or a P 
appeal to it. That's good every now and then to break it down, make your skin heal, come back a little glowier, right? Take those layers off. But if you're doing it every day, your skin never knows what to do on its own. And you're going to, when you smile, notice that your skin looks not it's gonna little micro wrinkles that look like crepiness because you've got a hard shell that you can't see on top of your skin, which may look if you're just like sucked in like smooth and shiny, but then when you smile, it all crinkles up and it's making a hard shell. So be careful with retinols, use them sparingly. And I think retinols are a great thing, but people just, it's a great thing if you use them as I think they used to be intended, which was like, here and there, they're a little stronger, but all these brands are like mainstreaming retinols and it's not the vibe for every day. Just be careful with what you're doing to your skin and what you're doing to your skin in a way of like making it just constantly prone to sun damage and as no amount of SPF is really going to help you with that, okay? It's always gonna be prone to some of that. Um, I, have another, I have a Chanel sculpting stick, which is one of those, um, Highlight sticks that literally this okay the Chanel sculpting stick and the Merit Kava are the exact same product exact same finish exact same color exact same everything so sometimes I'm like I don't know which I like best but I believe the Merit's cheaper and this one definitely doesn't have any pore clogging ingredients so if I was like okay have to just pick one I would pick the Merit and this you guys is well look I have another Paracone Eyelid Lift Serum. I have a few mascaras. The Too Faced Better Than Sex is just always a goodie. That's, you can never go wrong with that. And I have three of these. The e.l.f. $3 eyebrow pencils. I have one going now. I have a backup ready to go. It is the Instant Lift Brow Pencil in Neutral Brown. Whoever prints these tiny little things, criminal gel time like who like I can't we can't read that I'm gonna be 40 I can't read that um just kidding but not really those are great and I have tried so many we've dabbled okay in every brow product and I'm always curious to try something new the I mean nothing is better nothing's better nothing's better three dollars Speaking of nothing's better and something else that I like to kind of dabble in and try differently, you know, you don't want to completely revamp your skincare all the time. You can add in different things, but an eye cream. Okay. I would always use this at night. It's the uh, Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream. I've used very expensive ones, very inexpensive ones, all different brands. Nothing compares to this. Nothing. If I run out and I start, start using something else, I can literally tell a difference within a couple days, you know? Um, it, 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 nothing's ever gonna just like get rid of your wrinkles. But if you use something on your skin that's like really drying or, you know, again, the wrong makeup, whatever, it's gonna settle, it's gonna look cracky and crepey. Now, if you just put like a really nice moisture over there and you smile, you're not gonna see the wrinkles. Do you know what I'm saying? Because your skin is like happy and moisturized. But then thus comes like, okay, but the makeup needs to stay on. Trust me, okay, it will. This is so good. And I used to use it at night, but now I'm religious about using this under my concealer, it makes your concealer look so much better. So this is like the magic combo. Like I was saying earlier about concealers, you don't want something that sets too much and sucks the life out of your skin. I'd say at any age. Um, and I think even when you're very young and you may not need this, less is more, you know? Don't look at that as, oh, these are the years to really use all this crazy stuff. Just use a few little dots, you know, and just kind of make it dewy and nice, I don't know. But the combo of these, if you use this Shiseido under your eye cream and you may during the day or under your concealer during the day and you may think like, oh my gosh, this is so like thick, greasy. No, listen, it's good. Okay, your skin's going to love it. I've used this for years. It's beautiful. Put that on and then put your concealer right over it and it mixes together and it's just like all day. It's like you're comfortable it's not going anywhere, it's not settling into lines, and it's not accentuating or drying down to then crack up and look like and age you, okay? Um, I love aging, I'm proud of it. I say it all the time, I'm gonna be 40, you know? And I'm proud of that, and I think we all should be. On one hand, it's like everybody's, you know, slamming people that are fighting aging, but then it's like, when I am proud and saying I'm gonna be for it, I'm proud of that, like, then it's like, shut up, like, we get it. 
but I think that's important for the context of things. Um, but I'm proud of aging. I'm proud of that. And I really just think that the goal isn't to look the same as I did in my 20s because I like the way I look now more than I did when I was 20, 23, you know. Um, so the goal isn't to not age. The goal is to keep your skin healthy and to age better, okay? Um, my Revitalash Lash Serum, I can't live without that. I actually had a few of those. And sometimes they're different colors. Oh, no, that's Revita Brow. Okay, I tried that. I did not like the Revita Brow as good as the new brow. Just don't worry about it. I'll link to the brow serum I like, and I'll link to the lash serum I like. Um, I started getting, oh, I have a few little pencils down here that are just hiding. They're so little. And that'll be, oh, I've got a few more things, like some supplements that we'll talk about at the end here. But, um, yours, I don't know, maybe like in her stocking or something, my daughter got one of these little, like, lip masks, you know, this Laneige stuff. And this is nice. Just keep it next to her bed, and then we do our little routine at night. Like, she'll use it, and I'll use it. And this, is, and this really does keep my lips feeling good. This is, um... They come in all different flavors. I got her the little set at Christmas, and these are tiny, teeny tiny, so she's used a couple of those, um, and then we still have some of those to use, but I got her the one that's the swirly, the blue and the pink that we just started using. That one is so good, and we go through them because, you know, we use them together, and this one was from probably like last year. Okay, a few little pencils, uh, and I actually repurchased this. The best pencil liner that money can buy that's a sharpenable pencil liner. I'm not talking like, there's a few that I like, like from the drugstore that are like the roll up, you know, like, but the Charlotte Tilbury Barbarella Brown. Is it black? Is it brown? Don't know. It's perfect. Um, and then the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner. I hate it when they get this low because I wish this end wouldn't be plastic because then it starts turning and then you can't get it into a sharpener because there's still so much left, but then when you put it in the sharpener, you can't turn it because then this thing just turns. Pillow Talk liner, always a good bet. And I think my favorite lip liner of all time is just this natural, is it natural mauve? It's shaved off so I can't see. The L'Oreal natural mauve. And I hope they still, or no, not L'Oreal, Lancome. <laughs> same, same. So um, that's that. And then a few more things, like I said, I, I don't save all of my, um, what you call it? It's my supplements all the time. So I think I had a bottle of something, my probiotic. Maybe not. Maybe it was this that I saw. But um, this is good, okay? Now, I don't want to think too deep about where this is coming from, Where, but it's the um, Armour Colostrum Immune Barrier Superfood. Now, I, for the last seven, eight years, have done the same smoothie religiously every morning. Religiously, okay? I like it. I like to stick with a routine. Every morning, I take my, and I've done this on camera. I've, I've shown how to do this. Never changes. I've changed the brands of some of the supplements um, that I put in there, or the powders, but um, I've gotten it just right, okay? I have a little ninja, or what is it called? You know, like one of those little bullet bent blenders. And I fill up with this much was shaved ice from my fridge, like crushed ice, um, a whole banana, and then a scoop of a greens powder, a scoop of a plant-based protein, because if you use a lot of whey, that can cause like breakouts. So think about that, um, because that was the whole thing. Um, so plant-based uh, vanilla protein powder, a scoop of this, um, oh, what's it, collagen powder that's like a peach flavor that I love, that makes the whole thing taste amazing. Um, I think collagen really, it's, there's something to it, okay, like adding it to a smoothie or like consuming it every day. I used to drink that pink drink too. I need to get some more of that. I love that stuff. Um, but long term, I really do think it helps with joints. It helps with just the bounciness of your skin, with aging, and just maybe your insides. Oh. Um, hopefully. So those three things. And then I put, I'll, I'll link to all the powders that I like below. Then I grabbed this. It's totally tasteless. Doesn't really add, you can't tell if it's in there or not, but I really do feel like it does something and I'm gonna tell you why. So it has, um, okay, it's just a whole thing that you can talk about, but it's colostrum. I'm not gonna get into it, okay? We know what colostrum is. And I always say, like, I mean, I'd have breastfed my child for the longest time, 
but I did give her every little ounce of colostrum I was able to get. Like I was like pumping colostrum in the hospital. That was a whole thing. My kid came out at like almost 10 pounds and she like wanted a belly of mashed potatoes. And even the lactation specialist came in and she was like, we you just like get her some formula because you're not producing milk yet. You just got colostrum and this kid's like, in, like really going to town. And so like when they tell you that at the hospital, when they're like, you know, saying, hey, let's just do that. That's when you know, like, okay, again, I could do a whole video on breastfeeding, which then I'm like, no, because my kid's like nine. Does anyone care? No, but women deal with this. We've been doing it since the beginning of time, but there's a lot of pressure nowadays. And oh, if you don't do it this way, you don't do it. And everyone should be able to do it. And it's like, no says the people that are just able to do it and then they say oh it's hard I struggled yes even the best situation it's a struggle so imagine if you really did have a struggle whatever I did my best but my kid was like so healthy and rarely gets sick and I always think it's because I gave her like probably more colostrum than like any kid had ever gotten okay and so I'm like there's something to this so Again, I don't, I know where, it, I don't want to talk about where it comes from. I don't want to imagine that, but whatever. Last year, let's see, well now it's, yeah, last year we had the worst, like last, so not this January, like this year, but last January, or in December, last two Decembers ago, we came back from Disney, we had COVID and the flu, and I almost died. Okay, we were literally like death store stuff. Like, it was really bad. And um, I was terrified all year. I was like in this PTSD of like, if I get sick again, like I was nervous. I just, it caused anxiety. It caused so much. And so that's when I kind of got this. I was like, oh, let's not get sick ever again. So then we went to Disney, of course, this year. Got it again. Got sick again. And Livy and Brad were mild. I was just bopping through life a little, oh, let me just a little tissue. I got it so mild, and I really think it's because of this. I don't know, okay? So, okay, that's that. Um, and that's it. So, I hope that was helpful. I hope that you guys will pick up some of those Target things. I hope that you liked seeing some of this. Some good, some bad, some reviews, some things I've been into, things that I've used, and some things that you can get now at Sephora during their spring beauty sale not sale what do they call it event don't say sale it's an event although i think if you said you know because they never want you to say sale, but i'm like well, i mean this isn't sponsored but i'm like sale would really that's what we say that gets more people into it it because that's i think something that gets more people more excited right um but yeah get these things while you can while they're on sale because it is what it is it's 20 percent off 15 percent off or whatever it's a sale okay that is what it is um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed taking a peek at some of these Target things. Check out the things that I linked below from Target, like my chair. Oh my gosh, these chairs that I got for our pool deck. They're cool. They're modern. They don't take up much space. They're kind of loungy. They're not going to get wrecked in the weather. Love that. Love that for us. Okay. Um, thank you guys for watching. Love you so much. I'll link to what I can, things that I recommended that I mentioned, and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye, you guys.